burst the ball with Borthwick. Chris Ashton, I said he's not going to get man of the match, no matter what he does. What he then does is make a wonderful break and throws a superb pass. The three-on-two is superb, and it's my theme in the first half about Saracens. When they have got in the danger zone, they have taken it so well. Strether does really well. A wild finishes, but that is a superbly finished try. Lambie gets us underway again. And then Ireland have managed to snap on that one. Reese Ruddock is having a game he will always remember. And that's kicked straight down the throat of Willie LaRue. Everything, or in fact, it was not LaRue. Carney. Good tackling by Marco Barbini, the replacement. Zebo, Payne, perfectly weighted pass to Jared Payne, and then Henshaw drops the ball, and Ireland have knocked on again at the crucial moment. Well, I'm not sure if that went forward or not. It looked like it might have gone back, but anyway, Fozier's called it forward. Again, down this left-hand side, three Ireland green. getting a little bit more penetration by getting their three, green. their three quarters, getting the likes of Zebo, Henshaw running at this Italian. Four, largely forward defence. Look, he's got forwards there. Geraldini out there, getting a bit more width. Pain, very astute pain. Get standing right out in the touchline, putting widths on. That's what I've been asking them. Trying to, well, not asking, hoping that they would, they would have done earlier on in this game. Is really starts. And Johnny Beatty now, in the dying moments of this first half, is there to be a score for Scotland? Wide it goes, flinging it out wide. Two men out. Ewan Money gets it on, Dougie Fife for the try. Scotland head back. What a and nothing Irish much they can do except oh. clear it. Saeli's kick has gone straight to Marshall. Fires it in field to Elliott who stayed back. Now Williams quickly on to Lowe. They've collapsed the scrum now and they release. And White flings one right over the top to Coleman. Swings it over the top again to Joe Tamani and Spoken Joe gets a five pointer, his first for 2015. Well, the Reds were short on numbers, but a couple of backline players had to come in to try and stop the rolling ball. David Pocock had the ball at the back and they were playing advantage, so Nick White saw the space, saw the numbers. Robbie Coleman was out there and Joe Tamani. Out wide. Just the space and the awareness all came from the kick from Nick White to be able to get that close to the try line. Chris Kuandrani was caught in close. Unmarked out wide, Joe Tamani. Pass was okay. 